How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today we're going to talk about this. How to clear the iCloud Drive storage on your Mac. As you can see on this iMac right here that has 512 gigabytes of storage, 199.16, so 200 gigabytes is being taken up by iCloud Drive. As you can see right here and right here as well. So almost half of it of iCloud Drive. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that, how to actually offload those files, keep them only in iCloud and not in your Mac local storage. So let's free up a ton of that storage right now. Let's get started. So if you're not really familiar with iCloud Drive and what it means, it's pretty much your files, your documents, everything that you have in iCloud that's actually outside apps. And those files within here, the iCloud Drive, they live right here on your Mac. So if you open up your Finder and go to iCloud Drive, it's those files right here. And the problem is most of the times you're gonna have those files duplicated. They're gonna be in your Mac local storage and also in iCloud. So taking up storage of both, which is completely unnecessary. So in order to fix this and clear your Mac storage, all you have to do is come back here to your system settings and then click on your name where it says Apple ID right there at the top and then iCloud and right here we have an option that most people don't really notice and it's actually turned on by default and it's called optimize Mac storage and as you can see right here the full contents of iCloud Drive will be stored on this Mac if you have enough space and older documents will be stored only in iCloud when space is needed but as you can see right here this first sentence makes it extremely clear when this feature is actually turned on, it's actually going to store on this Mac all of the contents in iCloud Drive. So pretty much all of your documents, everything that you throw in iCloud because you don't want them on your Mac, this feature will make it store on your Mac. And as I said, this is turned on by default. So this is not doing us any favor, is it? So all you have to do here is disable this feature, as you can see right there, and then your Mac is going to automatically offload all of those documents and files and everything from iCloud Drive that's right here on the Mac. It's going to offload them and it's just going to keep those files in iCloud. So of course, you're not going to lose anything. It's going to still keep them in iCloud. It's just going to free up the storage right here on your Mac. Keep in mind that this process may take a while because if you're like me and you have hundreds of gigabytes of uh, documents and files, it's gonna take a while to offload them, but that's pretty much what you need to do. If you actually come back here to your Finder and then come back here to your iCloud Drive, you'll see that it's actually working. It's gonna be downloading stuff and offloading stuff. Just let it do its thing, it's automatic, all right? And as I said, it's not instant, but if you wanna do it manually and speed up the process, you can also go ahead here and take a look at the folders on your iCloud Drive that don't have the little cloud icon. For example, this one it doesn't have, this one it doesn't have, as you can see right here, this one either. You can actually go ahead and click on any of those folders and remove download, as you can see right here. And by doing that, you're gonna manually offload as well. As you can see, it has the cloud icon now because I have just removed all of those files that were downloaded on my Mac. So you have those two ways of actually getting rid of those files, like offloading them and keeping them in iCloud, which is the automatic way, as I showed you, that takes a while, and also this manual way, which you can go ahead and do this on all of those files that don't have the cloud on them, meaning they are in your Mac. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's how you manage those files and that's how you actually free up the iCloud Drive on your Mac storage. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.